close your eyes and take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Make it shorter, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Experiment for a while to see what rhythm and texture of breathing feels best for the body right now. As you do this, you're developing good qualities in the mind, and it's a good use of your time. Today we're having a commemoration of a birthday and the commemoration of a passing away. Of course, that makes you stop and think about your own life. We've all been born here in, the, in this world. We all know that we're going to die. And the problem is we don't know how much time we have left. What are you going to do with that time? Some people say, eat, drink, and be merry. Squeeze as much fun in as you can. But there's nothing left when you do that. The pleasures, Even the pleasures you had yesterday, where are they now? At best, they're only a memory. Many times you've forgotten them. And some of the pleasures don't develop good qualities in the mind. In fact, a lot of them make the mind weaker. This is one of the ironies of life. The many of the pleasures we get come from doing good things. But then as we indulge in the pleasures, the, the tendency to want to continue to do good things gets weakened. And then the pleasures are gone. So what you want to do is find something of solid worth inside. This is why we meditate. This is why we're generous. This is why we take the precepts. We're trying to develop good qualities in the mind that are really solid, that are a good use of our time, because they will give pleasure now, and a pleasure that's totally harmless. When you give gifts, you're not harming anyone at all. When you're observing the precepts, you're not harming anyone. As you meditate, you're sitting here not harming anyone at all, and you're finding happiness in these things. That's the important thing. You find happiness in the activity. And you know at the same time that there are going to be good results down the line. When you're generous, other people respect you. When you're virtuous, other people respect you. And as you're generous, your heart opens, becomes a more expansive heart. As you're virtuous, you're more careful about your actions. You really pay attention to what you're doing. It makes it easier to look into your own mind, because the real seeds for the sufferings we have in life come from within the mind. And yet we don't pay attention here very much. We pay our attention someplace else. So here's a chance to pay attention to what's going on in your own mind. Understand what's going on in your own mind. That way you can do something about it. You're looking after the source. So this is a heedful use of your time. As the Buddha once said, all skillful qualities in the mind come from heedfulness, are rooted in heedfulness are encompassed by heedfulness. In other words, it's the realization that your actions really do make a difference. Unskillful actions will lead to suffering. Skillful actions will lead to pleasure. And so you want to be really careful about what you do, what you say, what you think. Because these things are not just writing in water. You're engraving some things in stone. And time passes, passes, passes as you're doing this. So you want to get some good things stashed away. As for things that waste your time, time is not the sort of thing that you can recall once it's passed. So don't kill off your time. Find good things to do, to do with your time. Even if you're just sitting around, you can focus on your breath, develop mindfulness, alertness, other good qualities in the mind. There's always something good to do with your time. So try to figure out what that is, and fill your time with good things, good actions. Because it's the good actions that lead to happiness now and into the future. The pleasures you get, they come and they go. But the sense of inner worth, the sense of solid worth inside that comes from doing your best to be skillful, that stays with you for a long time. As the Buddha said, that's the essence of wisdom, is realizing what, when I do it, will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness. So think of your actions as investments in happiness. And what do you want, short-term or long-term? Good or bad, the choice is yours. You're making it with every breath. <laughs>